Okay, Sun in Aquarius, Mars and Sagittarius, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Bring in something you've invented and like manifest it. Like you could create something and you'll take your creation far and wide until somebody, or your invention far and wide until somebody says, oh my God, like, hey, that's a good idea. You got something here. Let's do this thing. You're like otherworldly. You don't really like the tried and the true. You don't really like the norm. You're really unorthodox. And it's so funny because Sagittarians could be like religious, religious. They can. But I, I, I won't doubt the fact that whenever you, you do go for something, especially something that you know, you're gonna, you, you, you tend to stick to it. And you travel. You could travel to different homes, family homes, friends of the family. Because you don't really want to have an attachment on like bills and stuff like that. Because you feel like, no, there's somewhere I'm going. There's some place profound I'm trying to get. And until I get there, I, nothing can hold me back. Nothing can hold me down. I don't want to be attached to having to pay anything. Because I ain't trying to be stuck and settled inside of some job that I don't really want to do. In order to keep these things. You know what I'm saying? You want your freedom. More than anything, more than anybody, if anybody try to box you in, you will pull a slick one on them. And you're very detached. It can seem kind of insincere and cold to people that are attracted to you or want to be with you. And people could feel like, you know, when you pull back like that, that, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's hurtful or disappointing, you know. But, hmm. You know, the thing about Aquarians, I think it comes from the Sagittarius side. The Mars and Sagittarius combined with Aquarius. Because, see, the thing about Aquarius, though, Aquarius will run around doing favors. Like, if Aquarius ain't paying no rent, like, they're doing, they're making up for it in other ways. And a lot of times, Aquarians um, is there. They'll be there. They'll be where they got to be. It's just that they fix themselves like if it's in a place that... Um, they feel that they're not too happy in or complacent in they can de detach themselves emotionally you know but it doesn't mean that they can't be in a relationship or anything of the sort especially like the the female Aquarians and it's a lot of stuff you're knowledgeable about so like if you're teaching or something of that nature or Whatever you came up with, you might have people traveling far and wide to come and hear you speak or to come and try out your product or service. And you like to conquer new grounds. You don't like to just like after you've accomplished one thing, it's like, no, I'm ready to accomplish something else like really quick. You know what I'm saying? You're the traveler. You don't you don't let. Um boundaries hold you back you know what i'm saying you conquer you conquer what you need to conquer and you do it like because of the skill set like for instance you like knowledge but you don't want to hear the knowledge from just anybody you want to hear the knowledge from the best teachers the best spiritual leaders the most experienced people because you love to experience you kind of feel like if your mind could think it, then you should be able to experience. And you got to try. you got to try at least once. And that may be all you need sometimes. Even with the person that you're attracted to. Okay? Sorry if they're yelling in the background. That's the kids. You know? Whatever you're, you're interested in, this could be a person. This could be people. And... You could have, it could be hard for you just to choose one person that you're attracted to because especially until you get to like in a certain age or a certain mindset to where you're like, no, okay, now I feel like I've experienced, you have to feel like you experience everything that you need to experience and you want it to be your choice, whoever or whatever you commit to, you know, 
I don't know. Like what you, I kind of think is 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 the best thing for you is to be like an entrepreneur or somebody that travels for work or um, gets to change things up every now and then. You know, do something creative to where you can um, incorporate your personal style, flair, invention, or inventiveness and all those things. But you're not limited to that place. You know what I'm saying? You can go to another place and do the same thing. You know, but oh yeah, it was something I want to tell you about the fact that, you know, you you and your experiences or whatever. Or the fact that you like to gain information off of people that's experienced. Okay. Now, your thing is the next best thing to that is if you learn it yourself. So you're going to say, hey, you know what? I want to go to the best school. At least I'm going to try to go there. Or at, look, look at what they're learning. Look at what they're doing. You know, I, it's not enough for me just to follow them. Like, no, mm -mm, I have to gain that. How did y'all gain that? How did you and you you you're you're traveling or you're expanding yourself. You are looking to get answers. You know what I'm saying? So you're asking questions. You're looking to get answers about like how a person obtained what they did. You know what did they have to do? What did it look like so that you could go through a process that gets you on that same level? Okay. You like doing executive stuff too, so. With executive stuff, I think that that's good, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you can travel, that'll be even better. And if you can add your own little aspects, that's even better. You you get what I'm saying? And you could be attracted to like quirky type, trendsetter, trailblazer type people. But at the same time, like for instance, they could be in an executive suit, but it could be something about them that's like intellectual and quirky, you know what I'm saying? Or they might got like that. It's it's inquisitive. It's it, it, it makes you want to know more about them, that type of vibe. But they at the office, you know what I'm saying? They got the bun and the glasses. Um, but it's like little weird aspects of themselves. You know, but they're pretty or like their physique is nice or whatever. But it's something about them to where it's like they want more. And you could love to have others more or you could come across people that want to root you on and, and they motivate you. Whether that's listening to motivational videos about people that's already accomplished or they got to a certain place that you're trying to get to or um, and things of that nature. Or that's somebody that you just verbally or you just keep in your corner, corner for support. They root you on. And you could be like this for other people too. Because of the fact that you can tell them better because you experienced. You experienced a lot. And you can say, no, I know. I know what you're going through. And hey, let me help you out here. It could get on other people's nerves because they can feel like you know everything. And you're trying to get them to do what you want them to do. Or what you feel like they should be doing or whatever. But you're doing it because you really believe that they shouldn't waste their potential. You know, Aquarians can usually stick to things because you got a Saturn. You're ruled by Saturn too, but there could be just a lot of unpredictable things that happen, um, and that could seem like it's throwing you off, even though you're trying to stay the course. And it could be hard for you to like believe in yourself sometimes, or or to complete that grand thing you know your vision sometimes it could just feel like so many things in your way but as you allow time to go and pass through you'll start catching certain patterns and strongholds that you find yourself in and you'll start being less stubborn about the way things has to look and you'll start changing up those patterns and expanding yourself further past those patterns or those limitations or the stubbornness so with displacement, as much as you can motivate and you can push other people, you got to keep yourself motivated too. Like I said, looking at motivational stuff about entrepreneurs and things like that on the internet, I do that all the time. But like I don't have displacement, but I do that all the time. You have to find ways to keep yourself motivated because it'll be a lot of things that people doubt you for. They, they'll doubt you because they're not going to understand. And you have to know that that shouldn't be anything that stops you. Okay.
what I like about Sagittarius, the Mars place for you is that like a lot of times Aquarius could be stuck on one way that it has to go. You don't necessarily have to be there because that Mars and Sagittarius can pull you out of that position. Like sometimes, yeah, other people might have to be like, okay, Aquarius, like, you know, we could try it this way. Or what about this way? Or you can do this, you know what I'm saying? But you still ultimately can get out of that stubborn fixation about things, you know what I'm saying? And um, it'll be things that come about anyways that throw you off but even in the midst of that sometimes i found like aquarians could be thrown off into all kinds of situations and they'll still have that same way that they're going to go about doing things <laughs> okay all right so thank you this has been sun aquarius mars and sagittarius i'm butterflies a lot and i'll be back peace